Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Basics of Programming in C language and in this video tutorial we will be learning about the difference between the while loop and the do while loop. Okay, so theoretically speaking in while loop the condition is given at the first line and in the do while loop the condition is given at the last line. So what difference does it make it? It is that in while loop first of all the condition is evaluated and then the loop is executed. So even if the condition for the first time is false it will not execute any of the loop statements. But in case of do while loop the condition is not evaluated at the beginning. It is evaluated at the end of the loop. So even for the first time the condition might be false but since it is evaluated at the end the loop statements will be executed at least one time. Okay, so this is the basic difference. Now let us check that out programmatically. So I will just start a new project. Project console application and uh, C language. The project title would be you can give any title. So do while versus while so that is how I name my project next and finish okay so there my project is and in the main file the basic code would be included I will remove the line printf hello world so this is the basic template of the main function in which I have included two header files first is the stdio.h and the second is stdlib.h so you can remove stdlib.h because we won't be using it so it's okay if we remove it okay so stdio.h is a basic standard input output file which will contain the definition of functions like printf and scanf which are used for console input and output. This is our main function and its return type is always integer okay and this is a statement return 0 so that the main function by default returns 0 to the operating system whereas you can change this if you want inside your code but here we are not going to meddle with it we'll keep it 0. Okay, now comes the instructions. So for what I will do is I will first take a variable, let us say int count, and I will make it zero for the first time. Okay, so now I will try a while loop first of all. So the keyword while and then the condition inside it. Let me zoom into the code a bit. Okay, so inside the while brackets we will have the condition. So let the condition be count is greater than 1 and count is less than say 5 okay so it will begin from greater than let it be greater than or equal to 1 and less than equal to 5 so it will be between 1 to 5 if the count is between 1 to 5 our while loop will be executed otherwise it will not be executed and inside the while loop let me write sorry printf inside the while loop count and we will print the value of count after this using the format specifier percentage t so let me print count okay so let us first save this code and try and compile it it is compiled with zero error zero warning now let me try and run it okay so it has to say it away returned Okay, I can also do one thing to make the program more clear. Let me print over here with a new line that I am outside the while loop. And let us also include one new line over here. Okay, the new line is given using an escape sequence. And to know more about format specifiers and escape sequence, you can watch our video on the console input and output statements that will make it more clear to you. So let us compile our code and try and execute it. So as we see that it is straight away printing I am outside the while loop so it is not entering the while loop at least uh, even once. Okay. So instead of this if we use a do while loop I will write do over here and this same while statement I will move it over here and a do while loop terminates with a semicolon so you have to put a semicolon over here. Now let us see what the execution is like what the output is like okay so it has 
come inside the while loop count column 0 I am outside the while loop okay so for the first time the count was 0 but we have put a check that count should be greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 5 although 0 does not form in this range and the condition is false for the first time also but it has come at least once inside this loop now if inside this loop I increment the count using count plus 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 is an increment operator which is a unary operator inside C language which means nothing but count is equal to count plus one so it will add one to the value of count so suppose if I have included this statement and now I compile and execute this program let me first terminate this execution okay okay so now I compile this program and now I execute it again now since within the loop we have incremented the loop counter so when it comes into the loop first time the value of count is 0 but it is incremented within the loop okay so now it becomes 1 so when the condition is evaluated it actually checks that okay count is greater than or equal to 1 yes count is equal to 1 so this falls in this range and the condition becomes true okay and count is also less than or equal to 5 because 1 is less than or equal to 5 so both the conditions are true so that and logical operator will return true in that case and the while loop will continue to execute till both these conditions remain true okay so that was a small tutorial to tell you the difference between the while loop and the do while loop I hope that whatever was taught in this video was clear to you so continue to watch the course basics of programming in C language thanks for watching Edupedia world videos